Hey guys, I'm Julie from The Techie Teacher, and I promised a few friends I would pop on here to show some tips for organizing Google Drive, specifically the My Drive section of Google Drive. And this all came about earlier this week when I posted this meme to my social media accounts, how I feel after I've organized my Google Drive. And it sparked a lot of conversations and comments and a lot of teachers said, oh my goodness, I need to do this over my spring break or I need to take the time to do, it, do that this weekend. I had a lot of people say, well, how do you even go about organizing your Google Drive? Which, by the way, I don't know how to keep it nice and organized. I'm still trying to figure that out. But some of the tips that I'm going to show you today, I think I need to follow and remember as I'm working in Google Drive. And then I also posted this poll. Do you prefer list view or grid view in Google Drive? And many people said grid view. That's what I use. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. Uh, but, you know, of course, there were a handful of people that said they preferred list view. I think that looks more clean and organized than grid view. Uh, but I had a lot of people say, well, I didn't even know you had the option. How do you change that? So this little video is for you guys who are just starting out with Google Drive, trying to figure out how to create folders, uh, make them colorful, and different ways that you can organize your files that you have within your drive. So I am going to flip my screen and show you a Google account. This is not my everyday Google account. This was what I used before I got married. And of course, I had named my Gmail account my first and last name beforehand, so I had to change that. And I still have this account, forward my old emails to my new emails, and I'm in here every once in a while. But like anything that you see on the internet, everything's not always how it appears. This is not what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a lot more organized looking than what I usually am working with, I gotta be honest. Uh, but first, uh, folder structure. You can create folders in your Google Drive to house your files. And you can nest folders within folders as well. If you're unfamiliar with how to create a folder, just go up here to New and click Folder, and you can create a new folder. I'm going to do, I don't, I'm just going to say new folder and click create. And you can see it pops up over here. I have another one over here that I created just before uh, recording this video and I named it Julie. You can see how it's not color coded like these other ones. And I'm going to walk you through that process here in a little bit. You can change the view of your folders up here. If you hover your cursor over that little icon, it will say list view. And if you click, you have a pretty list view of your folders. I'm gonna go up here to the same place that list view icon was and it changed to grid view and I can click and it'll take me back to grid view. I personally like grid view because you can see the thumbnails of the different files that you have, but you know, it's totally user preference. Now let's say I want to file these items into certain folders. There are a lot of different ways you can do that. Uh, one, you can just click and drag and drop it right into the folder and it will send the file right inside of that folder. You can also click and highlight several at a time and then pull them and drop them into folders. And notice how when I, I have them selected, it will tell you how many files you have going into that specific folder. I'm gonna let go because I don't wanna file them yet. Uh, if you, let's say I wanted the data chart and my springtime collaborative digital book at the same time, I'm going to hold down the command key and I was able to highlight those two at once and then I can click and drag. Uh, another way you can do it is coming over here to my drive and clicking this little arrow next to it and it will expand the menu of all of the folders that you have in your drive. Same thing, you can just drag and drop right into a folder and it will file it. If you are working on a file that you know has not been added to a folder yet, there is a way that you can put it into a folder without even having to leave what you're working on. I try and get in the habit of doing this when I create files. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember, but up here is this little folder and it says move to. You're gonna click on it and then you can select your folder. This is my digital vocabulary choice board. So I'm gonna go down here to word study, click on the word study folder and click move. And then it has been moved to word study. So when I go back to my drive, let me, re okay, there we go. It has been moved. Another good habit to do is if you're creating a file, 
uh, you can go into the folder first before creating it. Now I can go up to new and choose my doc sheet or slide. And since I'm already in that folder, it's going to stay inside of that folder. So that's just kind of a nice, a nice little trick as well. Now I figured out Google Drive. Well, I always had Gmail, but then I didn't realize I had a Drive account until like four or five years ago. And when I figured out that I could create all of these things within Drive, I could set up folders, I could make a folder structure with folders nested inside of other folders. I was really excited. But imagine my excitement when I found out you can actually color code the folders. Oh my goodness, it made my teacher heart happy. If you want to color code your folders, all you do is put your cursor on your folder, and it depends what device you're using. I'm on my Mac, so I'm going to do the two-finger tap. Um, some devices you might do a right click, or you can do a, let's see, control click. Yes, and that will come up too. So hold down the control button and click on the folder. And then you can come up here to change color and choose your color for your folder. Another way to do it is by clicking on it and coming up here to the three dot icon and click change color there and you can change your folder the same way. And there are probably other different ways too that I just don't even know of. If you happen to know of any, let us know in the comments below. So that's how you change your folder color. And then after I found out you could change your fo folder color, I saw this blog post that I think went viral. I saw it all over social media. I saw it all over Pinterest. I still see it on Pinterest today, and it was brilliant. So let me take you to this blog post. Ladybug's Teacher Files created this post entitled Color Code and Organize Your Drive. And she walks you through the steps on how to take the boring gray folders, turn them into color folders, like I just showed you, but then you can number them. And most people know you can number your folders with just the numbers on your keyboard, and then that will organize them, that, that will put them in the order that you would like them to appear in your drive. But she took it a step further. These are like little characters or emojis that you can put in front of the topic or the, your folder name. But look at this that she created. She has her science folder, and inside she has nested other folders and next to each one, she has a little character or an emoji. I thought that was brilliant. So I, I even thought her color coding, um, just the order of her colors was beautiful. So that's what I wanted to do to my drive. I posted this link uh, in the comments to some of those, uh, the poll and the animated GIF I just showed you guys that I posted to my social media, and I had some people say, this is awesome, thank you so much, or I didn't write the post, this is all Ladybug's teacher files, and then I had some people say, well, I'd like to see this in action, I want a video, so that's why I'm here showing it today. So let me show you how she mentions to, um, to add those emojis to your folders. So I'm gonna go back here, oh, in her post, I forgot to mention, down below she has a link to copy-paste character, and if you go there, this will be copy and paste character, and it will actually default to all characters once you first go there. But I want to show you how to get, we could do either numerals, that's how we got the numbers, and she said to use the bigger numbers, which is what I did. Or you can come here to emojis, there's so many different things that you can use. And when you come to this site, you just simply click on the emoji you want, it copies it, and then you can go to your My Drive, find a folder, I'm gonna to go to my new folder, and to rename it, I'm gonna do my two finger tap, or it might be a right click, depending what device you're using, or the control click, or the three dotted line up there, and I'm going to go to rename. And I'm gonna put my cursor in front of my folder name and do command V to paste, and boom, there we have it, we've got an emoji, and you can click okay. And notice how the hard-eyed emoji moved that folder to the front of the line. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. You can play around if you want different emojis in your folders. Um, a lot of people do the numbers. If you have, like, the Emoji One Chrome extension, you can also add emojis that way to your folders. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention here. I think that's it. You know, a lot of people ask, can you organize the shared with me section where if anything anybody sends you goes straight to that section? As of now, there's no way to organize it, but a trick is to move the files in your shared with me to your my drive, and then you can, um, 
you can file them. So to do that, do that two finger tap or control click, right click, whatever, and you can click on add to my drive. And once you do that, it will send it to your my drive and then you can place it to where you need it. I think that's it. I'm sure I'll think of something after I press end, but just a few little tricks to organizing your Google Drive. I hope you have a wonderful day.